Hello! Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know the lighting is harsh today, but not sorting it out. Can't be bothered. We're in this position now, so let's just let it go. Yes, today we're going to be talking about Malaysian girl group Dollar. They have recently, well, I mean, when they first debuted, been into some kind of heat, received quite a lot of criticism and some hate from K-pop fans for their similarities, or as people say, they have similarities to Blackpink. Um, I feel like this video, we're just going to be talking about those, kind of dissecting it a bit. Honestly, I'm just going to be forming my opinion whether I think personally they're copying Blackpink. I remember when this group first came out and I remember seeing on Twitter people talking and especially Blinks talking about how this new Malaysian girl group seems to be copying Blackpink in many ways. At the same time, I also saw other comments from people saying, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. They are not in any way, shape or form. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a video on this. But for some reason, I haven't done it until now. Don't know why I put this video off so much. I think it's just because other stuff kept coming up and then I didn't have any time to do it. But here we are today. So the one thing I will say is I have never received so many DMs and comments on my YouTube video asking me to talk about this specific group. So I just want to say sorry for taking so long. Listen to the music. I still haven't listened to any of their music. It was because of the fact that I wanted to do a video on them. I have seen a lot of K-pop fans, um, specifically Blinks, obviously, because it's going to affect Blackpink if people are saying that they're copying Blackpink. So, of course, the fandom is going to get involved in that. Accusing Dollar as, as being a poor copy of Blackpink from songs, concepts, to the amount of members, hairstyles. When I first read that, I was like, really? But at the same time, didn't actually believe that because I think this is the same with a lot of fandoms. When you're a fan of a certain artist and you see other people doing something slightly similar, you want to be defensive of that artist, the stuff they do to be acknowledged that they did it. But at the same time, I have noticed there's this growing kind of thing in a lot of fandoms where it's become quite toxic. People just assume this group did this first and whatever, if a group does anything similar, they're completely copying them. I even feel like it was the same when, when Blackpink first debuted and people were kind of comparing them to 21 and were being like, oh, four members they're copying 21 even though they're in the same company it was more of a oh looks like yg are just trying to replace 21 but they can't do that haha <laughs> anyways i'm a massive blackjack and i'm a massive blink i'm definitely not being the person who's like oh they copied these people and stuff anyway going back to the point that i was actually trying to make is that i've noticed that when a group does something or has a certain hairstyle one of the members has a certain hairstyle one of the members wears something any group that kind of looks similar or does anything similar get automatically labeled as copycats and i feel like fans can get a bit too defensive it's like if rose has like blonde hair any girl who dyes her hair blonde is copying her it's like that wouldn't happen but actually no it has happened and i have seen it happen which is very unfortunate and <laughs> you accused a poor girl of copying rose for having the same color hair as her anyways they probably didn't do it first they probably took inspiration from somewhere else because it's very hard nowadays to do something for the first time ever can have their own certain style and their own certain kind of concept but then the lines get kind of blurred when they have an overarching concept because Blackpink's kind of concept is girl crush. I don't know. I'd say it is girl crush and kind of girl power, but it isn't rough. Everything is done very feminine and elegant and, you know, the whole emphasis on Blackpink. The one thing I think has definitely happened since Blackpink have had a global takeover and loads of K-pop companies have noticed and have seen how influential Blackpink has been over the years. Because of Blackpink, there has been a lot more girl groups in particular debuting with more of a girl crush kind of concept. Doesn't mean that they're copying Blackpink. Espa are kind of a girl crush group. They have the overarching theme of girl crush, but then they obviously have that kind of AI virtual idol element on top of it. The reasons that I have seen people say that Dola is copying Blackpink is for reasons such as amount of members, styling choices. I can't believe this one. Hair. I feel like we should look into all of those and we can kind of see whether there are similarities or whether there are differences and what we kind of think about that. First of all, Blackpink and Dollar do have four members. I saw that this was like a major criticism to Dollar and why they're copying Blackpink and trying to be the Malaysian Blackpink. When to me, that did not make any sense. There have been so many girl groups with four members. Girl groups with four members was kind of the norm. For me, it was a complete norm. Four or five members was a complete norm for groups in general until I got into K-pop and saw that, that that wasn't 
always the norm. Most groups were about four or five people. That's it. That's the maximum. Any more is a bit too much. And even people kind of now, um, if you see in Western countries, in England, European countries, America, you notice that groups are still kind of sticking to that three, three to five member limit and there's not really more from that because if blackpink having four members was so influential and they only did it then no other groups would have done that that's happened before in k-pop and it's happened so many times in the western world to anyone there were four members they were four members there i want to look at style now they were copying kind of their strong image now if we compare the two groups like as seen here overall you can see they do share like a strong style girl power kind of look However, I think they embody strong style concept differently. If you look at Dollar right here, with their makeup in particular, they have Western influence. Actually, to be honest, I might be wrong. Malaysia, I haven't done enough research, but from what I see and from what I know, their makeup style is very reminiscent to beauty gurus on YouTube who are from Western countries. The strong nude lip, as well as the eyeshadow, the kind of full glam look. I do like the look. I mean, I think both groups have of different styles of makeup and I don't think they really compare. I feel like Blackpink, their makeup style, more influenced obviously by Korean makeup and Korean makeup trends as well as they even make trends obviously. Softer approach onto kind of a strong look. It's a bit more of a natural look and I'm not saying that Dollar's look is bad or I'm not saying that Blackpink's look is bad. I just think they do differ very heavily between each other with their overall like kind of makeup looks. I've noticed one thing about Dollar's fashion is that it is very kind of like girl crush and strong. Rough around the edges. I'm saying that in a good way. Rough around the edges doesn't mean it's bad. Looking organic because I feel like Dollar take a lot of Western influences, especially with the streetwear. And that's what I kind of seen from them. With Blackpink's style, more refined and more very calculated of what they wear. High-end fashion brands, high-end look. They might be both girl crush, but they completely differ in that aspect. Dollars is more in your face and Blackpink is more looking really chic. You know what I mean? Dollar from what I see, I really like how it suits them and I think it's kind of their own thing. I think her name is... Shasha? Don't know how to pronounce her name, but I know it's S-Y-A, S-Y-A. Um, this girl, she has bangs. But a lot of people were saying that she was copying Lisa because she has bangs. Lisa, like, obviously her kind of signature style is the bangs. It's not like Lisa owns bangs. I have a fringe. Am I copying Lisa? No. Loads of people in K-pop have fringes, have bangs. There's a lot of women in K-pop that have kind of similar hairstyle to Lisa, but then they're not really labeled as copying Lisa like this girl has been. She's had kind of a split bang in the sense of half of it has been like bleached and it's like white silver and the other half is like natural hair color. And Lisa hasn't done that. But then I feel like if Lisa did that, no one would be saying that Lisa was copying Dollar. They'd be saying it still the other way around. They've noticed a lot of these comments about them copying Blackpink. They actually responded to these comments. Malaysian girl group Dollar denies they're copying Blackpink. Sabronzo told the Metro that while Dollar does look up to Blackpink, for inspirations any similarities between the two girl groups are just coincidental this is something i feel like we have to take into consideration is that of course they're going to look up to blackpink if they're fans of k-pop if they listen to k-pop and if they like blackpink then you're going to look up to them the thing is so i don't agree with her saying that it's coincidental because i don't really see many if any similarities to them and Blackpink at all. I get she's trying to say that if you guys see any similarities, it probably is coincidental. But at the same time, I'm like looking at both of them, looking into those aspects, you kind of see that there isn't really any standing to it except for one of the girls has bangs and Lisa has bangs. If you're gonna say that because one group has a girl crush concept that they're copying Blackpink, then you need to go for all groups that have debuted recently, all K-pop groups that have debuted recently that have girl crush concepts. Because you can't just keep it on one group and kind of like focus your attack onto them. I am not condoning you attacking any groups. Don't do that. But what I'm trying to point out is kind of a bit more of the hypocrisy. I know many people think that we're copying the performance style of Blackpink. However, any similarities are coincidental. There are not not many Malaysian girl groups and even the most popular ones back in the day, Feminine and Elite. To me, I think Dollar has a unique identity. I think especially you have to look in the context of where they are as well. They're in Malaysia, they're not debuting in Korea. So 
Malaysia may have never seen a girl group like Dollar have kind of a girl crush concept like Dollar. So I think we also have to take that in consideration before kind of being like they're copying every aspect of Blackpink. Because if they were doing that, then they would release songs exactly like Blackpink, which you know what, we'll get into that and we'll find out. I do want to just watch their debut because that is where they did receive most of the criticism. See, and in the article, it says here, a lot of criticism was at their lack of originality and promoting a sexy and sultry image with their music. I don't like that criticism. I find that, um, I find that quite a misogynistic criticism. If a male did kind of a sexy concept, which so many boy groups do, they seem to kind of be like, oh, Oh my god, they're so hot. And then they leave it at that. But if a woman does that, or if their songs and that's a way to criticize them and look at them as less than, I don't think that should even be a criticism because it's just like if they want their music to be sexy and sultry, if they want their image to be like that, let them. That's 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 their choice. They're all adults. They can do what they want if it's, it's their music. Let's listen to this song and see how they're copying Blackpink. Okay, the walking. Walk queens. Ooh. Oh, this is so, <laughs> this is so good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Watching it, I don't see how they copy Blackpink style in any way. Their music influence is not reminiscent to K-pop, nor is it reminiscent of Blackpink's music in general. It doesn't really sound K-pop, nor does it sound like it would be a Blackpink song. It has more um, kind of American or Latin American pop influences in there more than it would even have K-pop influences at all. Um, the vocals sound nice. Ooh, whoever is doing those well in the back, amazing singer. She has a very, very good voice. Yeah, no, I don't see any similarity. Even with the music video, the music video is different. It's taken more of kind of a grungy aspect. The vocals don't have anything similar to Blackpink. The vocal production isn't the same. Oh, wow. Vocals, Jesus Christ. Damn, that's so good. I was not expecting to come in here and really loving it like I do. Downloaded this song already. Well, um, <laughs> not more to say. In conclusion, I think I've kind of said my whole point throughout the whole video. I don't see them really being any way connected to Blackpink in the sense of anything about them. They both have kind of strongish styles. Um, they both do girl crush kind of concepts and they, they both have four members. That's kind of where it ends for me. I don't really see anything else. And so that's why I just don't get this kind of overall criticism of them copying Blackpink. I just find it unsubstantial. I hope everyone's having a great day. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. Happy New Year. Hope everyone's having a wonderful New Year. Hope everyone is wishing for the best and I hope everyone's kind of I don't know. Just hope you have a great new year, I guess. Tell me what you think about Dolan. Thank you for watching. Um, yes, see you next video when it is out sometime. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.